Hi there, Dan Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. We had someone ask about uh, faces for kind of wavy hair and uh, that cockapoo style face. I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked for it, but uh, here it is. We've got a little wavy coated cockapoo in and we're gonna be doing a teddy bear style face. So uh, just let me flip you guys over and I'll give you my best tips. Okay, so. We have this little one, we did a half inch body, three quarter inch legs, super cute, little scissored belly with feet. I'm going to do a reverse one inch over my 40 blade on my five and one. And I'm going to do it forward. It's not going to take much off. This guy's had a shorter haircut in the past and new customer to me. I've never groomed this little guy before. But this, I like to come reverse and very light when you get to the brow. A little bit up, you want nice brow look. Flip the ear up and down the side of the face. And then I like to come this way on my faces. Flip that direction. Okay. Down the side of the face. And then this direction. See how that comes and takes out that area? Okay. I've already clippered everything that I want in a half inch around. Uh, like I explained the other day, I like to make sure that my dogs have a neck and a body. But I am gonna come in with my dark purple and I'm gonna just set this a little bit more. I want a very defined neck versus head. So I'm gonna come in and just lightly dust it out. See, just so I get this very, very defined neck versus head and now the perfect head is always completely round from nose to the ear all the way around and same from the front completely round from the front now lift this up here what you do to one side do to the other i'm just going lightly because i just want that very defined neck versus head and i'm also going to take out a lot of the chin as well because when you guys set the heads down, this part poofs out. So you may as well take that out now in a shorter length. Okay, and I'm just gonna blend it into the neck a bit. Okay. Okay, right, so that's setting up my face for success here. My next stage is going to be to set in my little eyes and then the sides of my face. So I'm gonna come up in the eye corners. I'm gonna use just my um, curve shears today. I like to practice doing as much blended haircuts as I can with my finishing shears rather than always using thinning shears. Sometimes I find groomers are a little bit too reliant on thinning shears and then they get a little scared to use their, their finishing shears. So in this case, I'm gonna use my finishing shears quite a bit. So I'm just coming in and I'm, gonna, I'm just dusting the hair forward. That's how I'm getting a blended look even with my curve shears. Okay, now I'm gonna set the sides of my head. So I'm gonna comb everything out. With my ear flipped over. Comb everything out. And then I'm gonna come in and scissor short by the ear first. Nice and short and then just lightly dust the sides of the head. Remember our clippering has already set the length. So don't be tempted to over scissor. That's what a lot of groomers do in these wavy, wavy coats is they try and correct the waves and the cowlicks with scissoring. You can't do that. You need to make sure you're just dusting above it just like the rest. So I'm gonna come in, repeat. Remember you need to always repeat more than once. And especially with wavy coats, you're gonna have to repeat, I say three to four times, but see each time is gonna be less and less. So that was our second time. I'm gonna come in for a third time See how we get a little bit more, same thing, and it's going back and forth. And I'm just letting the waves do their thing. Your prep work is the most important thing dealing with wavy coats, how you bath and blow dry them. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. What we do to one side, always repeat on the other side, pulling it out. Now we'll come back behind me so I can show them a bit. There we go. I'm going to come shorter by the ear and then start lightly dusting out. Now I'm letting my thinning shear curve it under a bit. 
Remember, the length has already been taken by our clippers, so I'm not gonna go gouging into that head. If they pant, I just kinda, just a little gentle wiggle to get them to stop panting. You don't wanna scissor a face that's panting. I need you to tilt your head a bit, buddy. You just don't wanna uh, sweep behind him. Just he's getting distracted there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no worries. Okay, and just scissoring. I'm lightly dusting. And again, repeat, 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 especially with these wavy coats. And how you comb, look how slow I'm combing and I'm allowing the hair to come up. Combing is half your battle with scissoring. How you comb. That's what's gonna make this hair lay. So once I get the sides of my head set in, now I'm gonna come and set the sides of my eyes. Combing everything forward. I'm gonna set the base of my shears just above where I already scissored the sides of my face and aim my shears to the outside corner of the nose. And I'm coming up and under his brow, okay? I find a lot of people make it, uh, they're grooming really, really heavy over the sides of the eyes. And that's what help, uh, this helps keep them cleaner and longer. So that's one eye, I'm gonna do it to the other side. So outside corner of the nose and then just dusting where I've already scissored, coming up and under. But be careful not to cut into your cheek hair. You just wanna dust. And I like to get that little inside layer, okay? See how it's really not too heavy over the eyes now? So that's why I always do the sides of your eyes first, okay? Comb out, double check and repeat. Just making sure it all blends nicely. But I don't worry about the brow side till after, okay? Now I'm gonna aim the head down a bit and see how we have this little faux hawk going. Now I can come in and just line up from side to side. And it's just that little part in the center. And this way you get a nice little rounded top, but with not too heavy set over the eyes. And again, I'm not worrying about the cowlicks, I'm just working with it. Your prep work is what's essential. I'm coming in. Now he's got some very thick hair. I'm just dusting. And I'm just following the shape of his head and I'm using my hand to manipulate the face so I can just use my curved shear how I want. So now I'm just slowly moving up into the base of his head. And it up. And then you've got a little fluff. Okay, so we got our top of the head, our sides of the head, our eyes are done. Now we need to make his muzzle match with the rest of him. So we're gonna comb this out. I'm gonna go straight up and down into my muzzle, into my cheek hair here. And I'm just gonna lightly dust that muzzle. Remember, I wrap the muzzle this way with my clippers, so it's gonna come better. Once we do one side, we repeat on the other side. So comb out. And coming down. Coming down the sides of the face, into the muzzle. So now my step to get the muzzle to start to match. This guy's kind of been hacked a bit by, uh, I think probably by the owner. So the muzzle's a little bit messy. So I'm just gonna comb everything forward. And everything that doesn't match with the end of his nose, I'm gonna cut off. So level with the nose, okay? What that's gonna do is then when I comb back, it's gonna blend into his face, you see that? So we'll do the other side, comb everything past the nose. And then I'm gonna come in and anything that isn't level with his nose, I'm cutting off. So let me see, when I comb it back, it's gonna nicely start to taper it back for me. So that sets up my face for success, especially when I wanna go round. Now I'm gonna do by the lips. So I'm gonna come in underneath, make sure his lip area is clean, rounding. Let's see how easy that was since we did that part first. And I'm gonna do the lip area on this side. You're fine. 
What are you next? Grounding underneath. Okay, so that sets up that for me. If he does pant, I take that opportunity to trim my inside area, which is what I'm doing right now. Since he's panting, may as well make sure that's clean. Okay, so when I turn the head to the side, you'll see how much work that's done for me. It's actually set up this angle straight down for me. So now I just need to bring that angle up and around. Following through with my shears, just blending. Remember how we separated the neck and the head earlier with our clippers? That's why. So it's super easy to know where that needs to go. Every step should take you to the next step. See how we're getting a nice little round face here on this crazy wavy hair? And these guys are a challenge. This wavy hair is not easy. It's not easy at all. Okay, so same on this side. We're going to comb down. And then I'm just going to follow through with my curve shears. We get that nice angle down from all the work we already did. All I have to do is take off the bottom of that curve. If he's panting, you got to get him to stop so that he's not perking up areas that you don't want perked up. You've got to match each side. So don't scissor faces that are panting. Okay, and see how we're getting that nice round look really easily without all the scissoring. And I was missing a lot of his muzzle hair here that I would love to have to make this the perfect muzzle. So he's, see how big he is on this side but not that side? So I'm just gonna match it up as best I can and then, and then at least the shape is there for next time this guy comes in, I'll be able to give him a, an even nicer shape. But for now, I'm just gonna dust it in. Okay, double check. Okay, and last but not least, you'll see that I have my goatee underneath. You see how I have the goatee left? So I like to take a look at the goatee, and then I'm just gonna match it from this side of the face to that side of the face. Well, that's my first cut, let's just line them up. And I start coming from the top and just lightly blending in. So it's rounding it in. And sometimes I like to come this way and round it in as well. If he pants, I can come in and take this slightly shorter by his mouth, which I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna comb everything out and double check everything. See underneath, we got a couple of stragglies, so we gotta come in, repeat. But remember, every time you repeat, you're not remaking the dog, you're just touching up. I find a lot of groomers end up over-scissoring, especially this cowlicky hair. Remember, you're not gonna fix the cowlicks or the waviness, so just go with it. Okay, that's how we keep our cute little guy. I wanna double check everything by pulling the head down. When you pull the head down, you're able to see where you're at. So see when I pull the head down, we're able to see little things poking out. So then I can come in and alter those and make sure that's all blended in. Okay, so one side. Now I'm combing out this side. And see, with the head aimed down, I'm able to see what is not quite matching. Okay. And then I can come in and alter it. Okay. Okay, that's our little wavy face here. Cute little guy. And then I'm just gonna show you how I like to do these ears. I'm gonna do this ear, it's, you can see it's been completely hacked to pieces. So again, we're just gonna even it out so I can grow it better, but I'm gonna do the kind of ear that I love to do on my doodles. So ear all the way forward to the nose, comb everything down. And then I like to start at the back, so I've got my head level, and I like to take off the entire back in a straight, slightly curved line. Again, I'm taking everything under my fingers, combing down, inside as well. See that? And straight. Okay, may seem a little drastic, but when you drop the ear, you're gonna get a much more puppy looking ear. See how that tapers it in? And then I just like to round off the bottom. And then slightly round up the front. 
And then the last step is just double check it from a front view. So from a front view, you always get that little bit in the inside area that needs to be dealt with. So I come in, turn it from the front. And I like to just taper the ends in a bit just so it's a little bit less. And I can see this got a lot of growing out to do for all this hack job to be. Once this is one length, it looks absolutely gorgeous. But for now, we're just evening it all out so he can grow out into something really cute. Okay, that is our cute little ear. An adorable face on the wavy cockapoo type coat. I'm Dan Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. I hope those tips were helpful and we'll talk to you guys soon.